Hi, this is Laura Patillo, and this is my poster on Asbury Park's gentrification and proposed research into changes in early childhood education. If you've never been to Asbury Park, it is a city of contradictions. It is a tourist town. However, the crime rate, according to city data from 2018, it is 96.2% higher than other U.S. cities. What else is going on is gentrification and COVID-19. They're both impacting families negatively. Uh, parents are really working hard to make ends meet. The rent's getting higher. They're working longer hours. Therefore, they're not spending a lot of time with their children, especially when they're very, very young, like these children in our early childhood classrooms. And then I have an amazing quote written by Felicia Simmons from the Asbury Park Press. I highly recommend you read it over and it'll give you a sense of what's going on. Asbury Park and a little bit of the district background. So Asbury Park was one of the former 31 Abbott districts. Uh, they do receive a lot of funding. Our, our preschoolers use the creative curriculum for both their three years and four year. However, we just started implementing in the past year and a half big day pre-K for letter formation, awareness, and sounds. Again, not for math. So what is the purpose for this curriculum change that I'm thinking about? Well, I'm thinking of how the parents are working longer hours and how if you look at the school performance assessment data, it's failing in the math sections, but it just started passing in English language arts at Thurgood Marshall and Bradley. So this is very interesting. What's so special about how we're now teaching English language arts, arts and language and um, letters and letter formations? Well, look at the top. We've gotten some amazing positive results from teaching writing in big, big day pre-K than the creative curriculum. Um, those are two anonymous pictures. It's just hands and writing sample data from my students. The student on the left was writing in a small group in creative curriculum. The student on the right was writing in a small group in big day pre-K. And what a difference the student on the right. That's um, scribble level or you could call it str uh, letter strings for D, E, F, and G. So here's my proposal. Could big day pre-K's curriculum give Asbury Park's pre-K students a better foundation in math as well as English language arts for kindergarten readiness more than the creative curriculum? I mean, you just see the evidence from my classroom data alone. And then look at the supporting evidence down below from the case study in Startsville Elementary School in Texas. Their gains in number sense run from 0% to 59% and in their sorting abilities 4 to 93%. Those are gains we want for our Asbury Park students. So what if we had a quantitative experimental study um, following these children who take big day pre-K entirely for math and English language arts and then see how they assess in pre-K in the, in the kindergarten classroom as well? Would they do as well? If you go to the top right, listen, the stress, poverty, maltreatment, this is why it's crucial to do this. And I want to read the center quote, the future is in our hands, our lives are what we choose to make of them. Thank you so much.